Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we got Thomas Sowell, worst president ever. And before I get into this video, I just want to say that um, as I'm about to record this, I saw um, Tucker Carlson from Fox News decided to part their ways. So Tucker Carlson is gone from Fox News. And Don Lemon has been fired from CNN. Ah, uh, Don Lemon. Uh. Tucker Carlson, I don't mind Tucker Carlson whatsoever. A lot of people don't like him. But this is the beginning of a lot of stuff to come. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments, all right? And with that said, let's get into today's video. The, the politics of the day for a moment. Thomas Sowell on Donald Trump, quote, what is remarkable is that after six years of repeated disasters under a glib egomaniac in the White House, so many potential voters are turning to another glib egomaniac to be his successor, close quote. Oh, come on. Aren't you being a little hard on both Barack Obama and Donald Trump? No, I, th I thought I was pulling my punches. <laughs> Before he goes into um, Obama, I just want to say, yes, he had um, Thomas Sowell had he warmed up to Donald Trump. Let's want to get that out of the way. All right, let's continue. Donald Trump is simply not suited to be president? I think that that's true as an understatement. <laughs> All right. Barack Nor is the current president. I was going to say, Barack Obama is the president. <laughs> yes. Glib ego mean, how bad has he been? Who, wh where does Barack Obama rank in your mind, you who know so much history, among the worst American presidents? He has displaced Jimmy Carter from that position. The worst? The worst. Worse than James Buchanan? Yes. Worse than Richard Nixon? Yes. All right. Richard Nixon did not, after all, put us in danger of, of nuclear attacks, probably when the lifetime of people living today. The Iran deal will do that? Yes. All right. we're, we're, we're committed to stopping the Israelis from stopping the Iranians from getting a nuclear weapon. That's part of the deal. That pretty much failed. We spent, we spent so much money after 9-11 uh, happened. We all know how sad that was. But after how many years, they left everything behind? Equipments that worked how much money? Just, just left it behind. And everything went right back to where it was. So what was the real goal and mission? You guys give me a take it out in the comments. And Obama, the eyes are open now to, to Obama. Because Obama went in there, I was very young at that time when Obama went into office. I was like probably like 22 years old, 21, somewhere around there. I, I was very young. See, now I was in my early 20s. And to us, it was cool. Like, wow, a black president. Wow. So then, when, then you watch the first four years went by. That's when I first voted for him. When, when you watch the first four years went by, right? Now I'm like 25, 26 years old. Something didn't feel right. So I didn't vote for him the second term. And then he had passed the what? Same-sex marriage. And that opened the door for what's happening right now. You see what's going on right now. You got non-binaries. So much stuff going on right now. People don't identify as no gender. Like, like what, what? So that's, I opened the door for a lot of things and a lot of people agree with me in my last video that I did on um, um, Jesse Lee Peterson when I said Obama did more for the LGBTQ than he did for black Americans. Cause people still asking for reparations. We had a black president. Well, biracial president, still, still you, know, you know what I mean. And he, he didn't even do anything. So what makes you think now that he's not even in the picture? Well, we know he's behind the scenes. But then you're going to get reparations. You're not going to get that. They're going to keep playing around with you, playing around with you. That's why people, people got into their feelings. I like people agree with me. Work hard and find your own success. Don't depend on the government. They don't, what they learn about the government, right? They don't give you nothing for free. Always remember that. And if they do, there's something behind that. Keep that in mind. When I interviewed George Gilder about six or seven months ago, George Gilder known to both of us, he contended that with the right policies, the economy, coming back to the international scene in a moment, but the economy would actually turn around quite quickly. The American economy can be revived quite quickly, cut taxes, peel back regulation, and you'd see another version of the early 1980s. Mm -hmm. You agree? Yes. All we have to do is get out of the way in a certain sense. Yes. I mean, uh, uh, there was, there was uh, when, when Warren Harding took office in 1921, the uh, oh, unemployment so rate was ago. around 12 percent. Warren Hardy did absolutely nothing. As the as the uh, government's revenue fell because of the uh, of the, the uh, downturn, he cut government spending. 
Now, but now both those things are things that the, drive the Keynesians crazy. Right. The following year, unemployment had fallen to about half that level. Within a year? Yes. And wow. then a year after that, it fell yet again. Uh, pe- you know, there is a history. Uh, it, it, the first time the federal government intervened in the economy to get us out of a, of a uh, uh, downturn was in 1930. Now, which means that for more than 150 years, the federal government just stood by and twiddled their thumbs while the economy recovered on its own. And all that time, there was never a depression as bad as the 1930s depression. So things just worked itself out when the government didn't intervene. But I don't know. I, I think things are going to get worse right now. A lot of people are saying the same thing. I've seen in a lot of comments taking a dollar will fall in the United States. If that does, things are about to get really bad. Really, really bad. You got um the current president Joe Biden, who who I think is probably worse. Well well he is worse than Obama, but we know behind the scenes what's really going on. I ain't gonna go into that on this video, but you guys see where I'm going with that. And it's like his focus is on um Ukraine. We gotta fix home first. How you wanna try to clean somebody else's house while y'all are still dirty? It don't work that way. Where there was all kinds of, of intervention, beginning with Herbert Hoover helping help us, uh, and then amplified by Franklin D. Roosevelt. So, in terms of you looking at the, what happened as a matter of fact, uh, again, there was no there was no Federal Reserve prior to 1914. Uh, the Federal wow. Reserve was created in order to one cut back cut back on bank failures, uh, reduce uh, inflation, and prevent deflation. All of those things reached historic highs never seen before under the Federal Reserve. So the, 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 the idea was wonderful. It's only the reality that didn't cooperate. With respect to Thomas Sowell tells it like it is, hey, when it comes to bidding history and facts to the table, Thomas Sowell, man, hey, tip my hat to you, man. And Obamacare, Obamacare, maybe it worked for some people. I don't know anybody that it worked for. As a young man, when I was working two jobs, no, 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 I was working one job. Before I had to work two jobs, that's because of Obamacare, the company that I was working for, they couldn't give us overtime and all those extra hours that we would normally get. Because if you work over a certain amount of hours, they had to give you full benefits. We had part-time benefits, but we were young. We rather had the money. We didn't really care about insurance. A lot of my co-workers felt the same way. Obamacare made us now. Now we couldn't work those overtime hours, those extra hours every week. Now you had to get an extra job to make up that money we just lost. So that didn't help us. Didn't help us whatsoever. What did we get? Free cell phone? I already had a cell phone. So we had, and, and that time, that's when I had my second child. So I had, I had to go get another job to make up that overtime money that I was getting every week, and extra hours. It, it hurt us, man. And people say, oh, Obama couldn't do much because the 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 Republicans were blocking everything that he was trying to pass. All right, let's say they did that. What's stopping him right now from going out and giving speeches in the in the community, or even sending out messages to the community? What's stopping him now? You see what's going on in Chicago. You see the chaos that's going on in Chicago. It's not his hometown. What's stopping him? We make excuses over excuses just because he was the first. Black president, well, you know, virus, you know what I mean. That means we got to lie to ourselves. But I'm glad a lot of black Americans are waking up and seeing the, um, the nonsense that the left keeps promoting. I like people starting to wake up. And I hope we really wake up in 2024. Because the Democrats are known to play no game. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to leave you guys with this. My, for a long time in my life, right, we were always told, this is what we were told, that the Republicans were for the rich. Democrats were for the poor. As a young man coming up, that's what I had known for a long time. So many, how many people that way older than me that's programmed to think that way? That is crazy. And it's all lies. It is all lies. I'm not saying the Republicans are perfect, but the Democrats lie. They will lie to your face. Joe Biden did that <laughs> his first week in office. He lied right to our faces. And a lot of people, like the, after the first year or even in the first couple of months, People regret it voting for him. They fall for the same tricks the Democrats pull all the time. We got to get them out of there. It's worse now than when Trump was in office. Tell me if I'm lying in the comments. It's worse now.
And people stop, stop making excuses for Obama. He's not doing anything for black people right now. You got more reparations? Why ain't he out there talking and trying to promote reparations for black Americans? Why ain't he out there doing that? And he's, he has a lot of money and power. Why ain't he out there doing that? And you think you're going to get that? You keep sitting there and, and keep waiting. See how long that takes. You see all this. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to leave you guys with this. You see all this smash and grab that's happening? All this looting and destruction to all this Walmart and Targets and all these stores? You think they're letting you do that just to let you do that? No, they're not. I personally think there's something more behind that. I personally think they're letting you do that. So if they do decide somehow to give reparations, what do you think that's going to be coming out of? Like I said, the government will give you anything for free. If they do, there's something behind it. There's a catch behind it. Wake up, people. Wake up. Democrats had their time. Not even in a year, the economy went, to, went, went down the drain. Not even a year. It, it's it, man. We got we got we got to start waking up. We need to wake up more of our brothers and sisters. We need to come together as one. We need to be united because they all want us divided and fighting amongst each other. That's all they want. That's how they always win. Let's start falling for the same tricks and turn this whole thing around in 2024. Hey, I'm ready, man. I've been lied to pretty much almost my whole life about Democrats and Republicans. So. Talk to me in the comments. Until then, I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.